welcome to Oracle Arena. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. Jay, final year for the oldest building in the NBA, but no doubt, over these decades, there's been no shortage of excitement. Oh, when I think about Run TMC, you think about the killer crossover by Tim Hardaway, and then the sweet shooting of Chris Mullen and Mitch Richmond. As good as it gets. The Warriors secure the opening tip, and we're underway in Oakland. Clint Capella uh, tips it. That'll get out. Last touch by Capella. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on a defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Stephen Curry trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career 90% at the line. Free throws good for Curry, and the Warriors extend their lead. Harden with the basketball. They're down three. Give them two points. High percentage. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. To Green. A oh, big finish at the rim. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. To Paul. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Harden. Paul matched up with the two-time MVP. Harden. His first effort off the mark. To Green. Draymond Green. Two for two. That's what you want. No doubt about where that one was headed. Harden in possession. Five-point game. Gordon, tough matchup with Draymond Green. To Paul. Beyond the arc for three. Not that time. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Harden to Paul. Gets a look. Can't hit. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. The pass set it all up. How do you neutralize a threat like Kevin Durant? Well, that weak side defender constantly has to shade Kevin Durant and that primary defender. You have to funnel KD into help every single possession, contest shots, and hope that you can deter his vision and that he misses. Green. Draymond Green. Three for three. That's a perfect start. Mike D'Antoni will use the timeout. His guys find themselves down double digits already in this first quarter. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Houston, number 25, Austin Rivers. Harden to P.J. Tucker. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. Green to Durant. Going to launch beyond the arc. That's off the side of the rim, short. 
Houston takes over. Rivers, tough matchup against Durant. From the painted area, won't go down. Draymond Green sends it away. Oh, oh deny. As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Curry buries it on the catch and shoot. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. In just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to explore. And Stephen Curry, we say it time and time again, not much the defense could have done there. This is a game of ways as a defense you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Here's a chance from long range. Can't connect. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Now the Warriors gonna call a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Deep right corner for three. Message received. Well defended. Rivers into the front court. His guys down big. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Not that time. Rivers to bring it into the front court. Just under a minute to go in a very one-sided first quarter of play. End scores on the step back. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Livingston to bring it up. He'll run the offense. Quinn Capella, huge block. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Rivers with the basketball. They can get a two for one if they play this right. The drive, right to the... Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumba. Took it right to him and the defender was ready. Good look that time, but off the mark. Green with the basketball. Down a dozen. Got a piece Ooh. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. And the Rockets clear the board. So we played one here at Oracle with the Warriors on top. Jay and I back with more after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. And now Houston has the basketball. Driving right to the basket. Split the D there, but he can't get it to drop. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Nothing going here on that drive. Fires the three. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Paul into the front court. Down 12. The drive, right to the basket. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Chris Paul at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 86% from the line. Free throw good. A three-point play. And they're back within single digits. Down by nine. Oh. 
and count the basket. The defense needs to be in more of a stance and react better. A player with that kind of NBA talent level will get to the rim every time with moves like that. Ball to Gerald Green. Down to Fareed. Kenneth Fareed powers it down. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Green. That's off the side of the rim. Short. To Paul. From long range. And Chris Paul, quick catch and shoot there. 4-3. When you look at playmakers in the last decade plus, what sets Chris Paul apart? He always puts you in a position to succeed. He leads because he's vocal. And when he directs and he guides, there is nobody better at the position than CP3. Three seconds is the call. New blood coming in for both sides. against the former Cougar. Come on, Looney, with the block. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Clint Capella rejects it. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Paul with it up top. Now down six. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Chris Paul, couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect in the line so far. Oops, he missed the first one. Misses the second as well. Curry into the front court. Up six. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Oh, nice find for the basket. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Here's Paul controlling the offense. 4-3. Yeah, Chris Paul, veteran move. Well defended, still buries the three. There's a sixth sense there that you just can't teach. If you're a player on the same team with CP3, you should be taking that point guard out to dinner every single night. There's something to be said about a guard that makes the game way easier for you to be even more of an efficient offensive player. Paul takes aim at Steph Curry. Just not going down. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His team up by seven. Curry had made his first couple, but he misses there. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To Thompson. To Durant. Ah, Kevin Durant. That's three now on four shots. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6'2 guard. Scary. Now the Rockets will use a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Number 17, DJ Tucker. Paul. Count the triple. He has that sixth sense that you just can't teach. He's like a traffic cop, and he's navigating a myriad of bodies coming his way. And there's a smaller innuendo of the game that nobody talks about. When he makes a great pass, he'll tell the offensive player, shoot it, go up, dunk it. He will direct you and lead you to success. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. 
and hits the first free throw. Two for two. Quinn Capella able to recover with the block. Free throws coming up. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. Goes two for two at the line. Good shot, buddy. Good shot, buddy. It's James Harden once again. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Now Paul with the basketball. His guys can hold for the final shot. Runner here won't go. He gets it. Harden in a matchup with Boogie. First half comes to an end. The Warriors with the lead. Hello, everyone. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Warriors entered the locker room with a comfortable lead. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they could keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. The Rockets are in need of some changes at the half. They've been scrappy doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarded in the second half. Have a look at the leading scores for the Houston Rockets. Game track. Assists. The Houston Rockets are struggling to move the ball and create good looks for each other. What makes it worse is their opponent isn't having nearly the same problem. Player of the half. Draymond Green has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. was cold. Chris Paul hasn't had much luck getting into an offensive rhythm. News flash, you're not on fire. Pass the ball. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Now it's hard controlling the offense to PJ Tucker. Here comes the screen. Right, right, right. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Watch 
Rockets with four to shoot. Harden. And that's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Durant to Green. Fires the three. Tucker with the rebound. Capella. He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. Eric Gordon finished second in the six-man of the year voting after winning the previous year. But what's even more astonishing is watching his development at his time in Houston. In New Orleans, often it looked like he was lost. But there's no doubt about it. In H-Town last year, he found his second life. up to seven goes to the right side Draymond Green sends it away that's his third block this evening it's Curry controlling the offense gets it in the right corner Durant to Curry lets it fly from long range tough shot well defended. Okay, okay. I know you were knocking down everything in the first half, but that's not the case so far in the second. Maybe it's time to start executing your offense. Over to the right side. Baseline drive. Ah, Kevin Durant looking good. Four for five. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Capella. To P.J. Tucker. Second effort, grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. It just seems like one of three things happen every time James Harden has the ball. Either he scores, he gets fouled, or he kicks it out to someone for a three. Pick your poison. Lays it up and in. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the bucket. With the rock, it's Chris Paul. inside the paint on that one. Ed, all this talk I heard over the summer, what about CP3's hamstring? Will he be able to get back his first step? Will he still have it? <laughs> there you go. Draymond Green, four out of 10. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. To Harden. To Harden. Here comes the screen. Working the outside. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Another chance. Paul. Gets a look. Can't hit. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. We get a whistle and a timeout for Houston as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Steps around the defender and puts it in. Nicely done. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. Gets it to go. Someone clearly missed their rotation. Oh, my goodness. Someone please patch me into the arena intercom. Clean up on aisle three. Curry. 
Beyond the arc for three. Not going down here. In the first half, you were hot. I get that. Now, since you're not, it's time to start squaring those shoulders and getting those feet in the right position to actually align yourself to make a shot. Cash is in. Someone has to get into a zip code. I totally thought he was going the other way. That was a tough shot. But then again, this one makes tough shots look easy. Layup goes down. Well done. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Curling inside. On the basket, but a shot won't go. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Yes, Clay Thompson. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Rockets in control of the basketball. Paul doesn't have the touch. No good. The follow won't go either. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The Warriors enjoying some breathing room right now. won the opening tip so they have it to start the fourth quarter they have clearly been the better side so far jay that's reflected on the scoreboard well the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter it's zero zero you have to play the game with the scoreboard saying zero zero and if you can win that game by double digits then you've done your job in the fourth hard against clay thompson come on looney swats it this game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Durant, shot off the mark. Good defense. When you have cold shooting like this in the second half, you have to find other ways to score than just relying on the three-point shot. Maybe try turning that corner off that PNR and get into the rack. Green. To Thompson. Oh, with the foul and a chance coming up at the line. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. First one, count it. Keep working them out, boy. You can't guard you. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. And I don't know what the defender was doing there, but count the points. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. He wants it at the rim and scores. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Green to Durant. Going to launch beyond the arc. Uh, Jay, he's shaking his head. The guilty party. He knows it's better to be lucky than good. Or he knows it was just a really bad shot that just happened to go in. But sometimes when the basketball heavens drop a gift in your lap, you take it. Count the basket inside. I don't know if a body on him would have prevented that bucket, but it at least would have let him know that you were there. Curry to bring it up. They lead it by 14. Here's a chance from long range, and Stephen Curry. We say it time and time again. Not much the defense could have done there. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on a three-point shot. 
Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Paul here against Steph. And Jay, they call the foul. Timing was just a tad bit off. That'll be a winning formula in overtime every time. Answer a two on one end with a three on the other. Ed, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think a three is more than a two, correct? That is great math, my friend. Ah, Steph Curry. He's now shooting five for seven. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. For Reed, James Harden trying to cash in. Wide open look, won't go. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. The follow won't go either. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We could break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chippy. Thompson. Shot from the lane, won't go. Gordon with it. Down a bundle. Short jumper stays out. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Kevin Durant trying to cash in on a three-point play. Career 88% from the line. Durant finishes off the three-point play, and the Warriors add to their lead. Here's Paul controlling the offense to Harden. Paul to P.J. Tucker. Here comes the screen. Paul to P.J. Tucker. For three, always has a chance for Tucker, but not that time. To Thompson. Down for Curry. Off the assist. Mm, I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Harden, defended by Looney. To Paul. Nothing going here on that drive. Paul, matched up with Kevon Looney. And it's Curry who comes up with the board. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. And Kevin Durant, unguardable. Hand in his face, he still hits the three. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. Harden to Paul. Gets it down to Capella. Collins Capella. He's three for seven. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Durant. He engulfed him that time. Harden into the front court. His guys down big. And the rebound grabbed by the Warriors. He'll put it up. At the buzzer, it's the Warriors who get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. The Warriors put one in the win column with a solid performance. And of course, I've got to mention how many times they score from beyond the arc. They were so confident with the three ball. 
and it was instrumental to their success. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. The Rockets couldn't put it together to get the victory here today. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you could tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Check out the leading scores for the Houston Rockets. Game track. Assists. The Golden State Warriors showed off the kind of team chemistry that coaches love to see from their players. The more they moved the ball, it showed how much they trust each other. In the end, they got to win, and it looked like they had a great time doing it. Player of the game. Day Day could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. Our top three plays for you. Check them out. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.